are about to uh, jump into our last segment, and it's all about International Credit Union Day. And we have our friends from the St. John's Credit Union to talk to us about it. We have Ms. Brenda Armstrong, and she is the Secretary of the Board at St. John's Credit Union. And also Ashton Nicholas, and he is also a board member with St. John's Credit Union. Good morning, guys, and welcome. Good morning, good morning. All right, so International Credit Union Day. Uh, mm. We know whenever we think of credit unions, we think of the opportunity to save um, alongside all the other benefits, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's talk about the International Credit Union Day. Well, good morning. Once again, thank you guys for having us. Good morning to our members. Good morning to all credit union members. Mm -hmm. um, so International Credit Union Day is celebrated yearly. Um, it has been, this is our 75th year, mm -hmm. and it's celebrated in October, the third Thursday in October. Um, that's when they celebrate International Credit Union Day. So all credit union, this is a very special moment for us. This is whereby we give back to our members. Mm -hmm. We encourage our members and we show them the importance of saving. Mm -hmm. um, this year's theme for International Credit Union Day is looking into your financial future with a credit union. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the base of that team is whereby we focus on our members and let them know that they are important. And we educate them about financial stability, educate them about um, the reason why they have joined the credit union and what the moment have for them. So that's the base of the International Credit Union Day that we're looking at for this year. Mm -hmm. um, yes, Ms. Bren, I'd like to add anything? Yeah. Um, it's not only uh, significant internationally, and I, mm -hmm. I should say there's a big network of credit unions. You'd be surprised to know the sizes of credit unions abroad. Mm -hmm. um, but in Belize, we do our part. So it's been a part of our celebrations as credit unions to do special things. Yeah. Um, as you know, the credit union movement started with Father Marian Ganey. Mm -hmm who brought uh, those, those many years ago. yes <laughs> many years ago came to belize stationed in punta gorda mm -hmm. no less mm -hmm. painy yep <laughs> i have to plug that one <laughs> and um and i give thanks for those people who had the courage to share in that idea mm -hmm. let's pool our money because that's basically what a credit union is a cooperative mm -hmm. we trust each other mm -hmm. and we pool our monies and we benefit from each person's contribution. So when I put $100 in my account, yes, it's mine, but it's also yours. Yeah. And that's where the idea started. I think it's significant that it was embraced by churches mm -hmm. because the church was looking after its membership. Yeah. And so the, the first credit union, as I said, down there in PG, and then gradually as the years progressed, 1945, um, 44, Holy Redeemer, mm -hmm. 45, um, St. Francis Xavier, mm -hmm. and, I, and of course, you know, I have to plug St. John's, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The parish credit union that began in that little building mm -hmm. right on Albert Street West. Yep and grew to what it is now. Yeah. Still growing, I see. Yeah. You guys are building a, a yes. new yes. and what would be a Bolivar. We are moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. and, and so is the movement. Mm -hmm. The yeah. credit union movement is huge now in Belize. Mm -hmm. When we look at the idea of membership and growing the membership of the credit unions, what has that been like in terms of looking at persons who are transacting directly with the banks and other lending institutions? You know, it's a, it's a good opportunity for me to say, have you seen an ad that is run, mm -hmm. has been on radio and television, on the difference between a credit union and a bank? Mm -hmm. If you haven't, look out for it. Right. Because it is a significant difference. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally, I voiced one of those ads. Okay. And it really struck home when we thought about the fact, as a member of the credit union, you own the credit union. Mm -hmm. You don't own the bank That's that you, you put your money into. Owner. Yes. Owner. We refer to our members as owners. Mm -hmm. You make the decisions. We couldn't be on the board mm -hmm. of a bank. Mm -hmm. No way. 
We don't, we don't have that power. Mm -hmm. But in our credit union, all we do is get nominated at an AGM mm -hmm. and get sufficient of our members to say, yes, I trust Ashton Nicholas. Mm -hmm. He will look after my money for me. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get to be on the board. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a significant um, institution in the financial landscape. And mm -hmm. I think more people have to know that they will not go wrong in choosing a credit union. Mm -hmm. I'll say this, right? <laughs> and, and if you use it for your next ad, I'll send you a fee, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there is a sense of familiarity and homeliness when you're dealing with a credit union. Agreed. Uh, over a bank. Mm -hmm. Like I walk into SJCU, for instance, and I know everybody, everybody knows me. We mm -hmm. treat with each other very warmly. Right. Um, whereas with a bank, it always seems as if though it's strictly business. Yes. You're only very there to withdraw, deposit, apply for a loan, pay a mortgage mm -hmm. or whatever it may be, but it seems very transactional and personal. With a credit union, it doesn't matter which one you belong to, yes, it's yeah. a feeling of being a part of a family. That's very true. Right. Mm -hmm. And I guess and I guess to add to that, it has a lot mm -hmm. to do with like what you said, credit union is a family. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you know who the general manager is, you know who a loan officer is, you know, mm -hmm. as you can see, we're board members. And when you walk on it, you say, oh yes, I remember I elected yeah. you, you know, mm -hmm. what, what, what is happening, you know. So um, it is important for us to hit home when it comes that when you're joining a credit union, you're joining a family. Yeah. We're here for you. We want to know how we can help you as a credit union. So that's one of the big major thing and what we have been doing at St. John's Credit Union is that we're doing a lot of outreach. Mm -hmm. um, I know this Saturday, um, some of the board members along with some staff, they went to um, Dorothy Mendes' home whereby mm -hmm. we did activities for the kids, you know, giving back to our community. We also have the educational um, grant that we instill whereby it's just show um, the purpose of finance and we're trying to teach a younger generation to save. Yeah. It's important and starts now. Yeah. You put that, yeah. you get your money, you take that $10, your allowance, you put $2 in a credit union and it grows over time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And eventually you see when you're old enough, you can enough go returns and, you and dividends. Yes, you have enough returns. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's, uh, let's talk about the activities that we can look forward to uh, as we celebrate International Credit Union Day. Well, Across the country, all credit unions will um, observe the day. Mm -hmm. uh, on that day, if you're a member of a credit union, you're invited to go into the credit union. They'll definitely have some treats for you. Um, they, as Ashton said, we did our community service before the actual day. Mm -hmm. But there'll be raffles, there'll be giveaways, and so on. And um, the promotion of the idea of credit union. During this week, um, several credit unions are going into schools, um, helping to spread the idea that it's a good thing to be a member of a credit union. Uh, speaking to Ashton earlier, um, he joined a credit union because his mom opened the account. And that's a significant thing. Parents should embrace this idea. Mm -hmm. I know in my case, my child, one of my children, her godmother, the mm -hmm. gift to her on her birth was the opening of a credit union account. Same yeah. thing my parents did yeah, for us. Yeah, I was going to say, that's done for my kids. Yeah. That's your first birthday gift. Yeah. Yes. An account. Mm -hmm. I can remember that as well. That was mm -hmm. something... Uh, I think it's common as well uh, for, for older generations to open a credit union for uh, yeah. the, the New York kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we, we get to learn, in, in reference to the question about the bank, mm -hmm. um, the idea of saving at the bank yeah. is not a fundamental idea, mm -hmm. but it is to the credit union. Yeah. Yeah. The credit union grows because we, the members, save mm -hmm. in that credit union. And today, the income and the base balance, mm -hmm. I am not a finance person, what you call the, the f foundation line of your, yeah. your um, organization, that has grown over the years mm -hmm. to where credit unions control so much more money in this 
um, landscape that we are in mm -hmm. because each member has saved in yeah. that. And to, to add what we'll be doing at St. John's Credit Union, I know this week we have launched a Christmas promotion. Mm -hmm. So look out for that Christmas promotion. We already have our flyers out. You get three times your salary with restriction and condition apply. So you can visit any one of the branch and apply for a Christmas loan. Um, we, tomorrow we have, each branch will be having healthy snacks. Mm -hmm. So you can visit the branches and you'll receive healthy snacks. Um, we'll be having Belize City has already done their activity. We have Belma Pan. They'll be doing with help page. So they'll be going over to the help page and doing some activities along also in Dangriga branch. So there is several activities that we'll be doing and I know other credit unions will be doing the same. Mm -hmm. So it's like we said, it's just a very active month and mm -hmm. it's just for us to give back to our members for all their years and service and dedication. I have to add to my... Um comment just now with mm -hmm. the statistic I was given some info That's that I fine. should share <laughs> <laughs> the credit union movement in Belize now controls 1 billion 62 million dollars in assets wow. that's the size mm -hmm. of the movement wow. that we are in and I can say for my credit union 1 million of that yep. 1 100 million, sorry, is in our coffers. It's a, it's a growth that is phenomenal. If you look at it as compared to the assets in other institutions, don't mess with credit unions. <laughs> don't. Don't mess with credit unions. I hope you guys have credit union account. We do. I'm a proud member of SGSU. So. Oh. <laughs> cool <to see> that. <laughs> we, we have do. to get him a shirt. Yes. <laughs> so. I'll, yes. charge, I'll also charge for endorsements too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm interested to know, do you guys uh, know how many members you currently have at uh, SJCU? Yes, yes. Uh, our membership is, is in excess of 26,000 yes. yeah. 26, members. And when you think about it, when you and I, maybe not you, uh, <laughs> first joined the movement, we were thinking of thousands or hundreds of persons, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there was a practice, and it's still there, when you ask for a loan, if you ask for a loan in excess of your shares, you could have a co-maker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your co-maker was a fellow member of the credit union, and that's where the family element comes in. Mm -hmm. We know each other so well mm -hmm. that we go in and sign and say, I will make this loan along with Nisan Isani, and I will pay if he mm -hmm. falls. Mm -hmm. falls. Yeah. That's how the movement has grown. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, most of our members keep their word. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, it, it, but if you drop... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's drop, it's, it goes in a different department. Yes. And yes. Well, we have to call it back. But it has been growing, and we are growing. And I know for the next couple of years, we've been planning as board members to see how we can continue with the increase because like I said our members are important to us and once we get more members our credit union grow yeah. so that's a goal for the next upcoming years to come. Ashton as a young person uh, what was the reason why you had interest in being a board member of the credit union? Um, on my view um, I believe that I just wanted to make change within our community mm -hmm. especially when it comes to giving back service to our people and, mm -hmm. I, and I value our members a hundred percent so it's me spending time with them going out outreach educating them the importance of saving mm -hmm. like i once said my mom opened my account for me i didn't even know mm -hmm. so my mom opened my account for me and i saw that helped me through school yeah. you know yes. we would go and we'd get loan and i was able to finish school mm -hmm. um me now taking over my account back i instill saving so that's one of the big things so it's just for me as a board member to be there to hear the voice of our people and to deliver what we can do with, with, with the team, a great team behind us now. Yeah. St. John's is currently involved in renewing and revising its strategic plan. And one of the great motivators in writing or coming up with the mm -hmm. ideas for that plan is that the movement has to grow. Yeah. And so we are challenging ourselves to see how can this movement help 
individuals in our communities to grow. We now have four branches, one in Dangriga, one in Belmopan, and two in Belize City. Mm -hmm. How can we get those persons in the community around us to grow as well, mm -hmm. even if you are not a member of the credit union? Yeah. And how can we then translate that growth into the growth of our nation? Because mm -hmm. As I said before, you can't mess with this movement. Mm. <laughs> this is a significant factor in the economic landscape mm -hmm. of this country. Yeah. So we have a very important role to play when we strategize. Mm -hmm. How will we then contribute to that overall economic development in our country? Excellent. All right. Well, we are a bit short for time, so I'll ask if you have any last words. Well, I'll just, once again, we want to wish all our members, um, International Credit Union Day, thank you for being a part of our members. Look out for our Facebook ad. So if you have Facebook, if you have Instagram, add us on Facebook and Instagram, and you, we have surprises and surprises. Um, visit our branches, um, get, um, come get the loan. Christmas loan has been large. Mm -hmm. Launch, so come in, yeah. meet with the loans officer, and we are here for you. And remember, so you are very important to us. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We are going to wrap up right here on set. So we want to say to our viewers, thank you so much for uh, staying with us all this morning on Wednesday morning. Uh, we want to say thank you as well to all of our guests that joined us. Uh, starting things off with Izzy M that came and uh, yeah. uh, via Zoom and spoke to us about the work that she is doing as it relates to music uh, and also being a student in Taiwan, uh, but also for the folks that came for the first segment talking to us about the oncology services at the KHMH, definitely we want to encourage you, our viewers, to get your screening for all different forms of uh, cancers that uh, are out there. And uh, in our second segment, we also want to remind you to take advantage of the Caribbean Tire Gold Rush Sale. You can win so many prizes, including a great wall pickup truck and a 65 inch television and a 65 inch television i already told you isani I'm, I'm about to learn how to drive stick shift because i feel it in my bones that i'm going to be the winner <laughs> and uh, in our third segment it was all about the inter office basketball league uh, semifinals games if you're not a part of any of the companies that are currently competing still go out and support uh, it's a family event uh, so definitely take advantage of that and lastly it's all about international credit union day and if you don't have a credit union definitely get one. There's so many benefits to it aside from simply saving. Uh, so we want to say again, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you have any questions or concerns, you can send us an email at oie at channel5belize.com. You can also catch us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BC, as well as Instagram at OYE Belize. Thanks so much for joining us. And please join us again tomorrow as you open your eyes to start your morning right. Until then, keep your eyes, your mind, and your hearts open. Have a great Wednesday.